Hi everyone, in this video we are going to see how to find the equation of the tangents drawn from an external point to a given circle. In this case the coordinates of the external point and the equation of the circle would be provided. So let's suppose you have a circle like this whose center is at negative g comma negative f and the equation of the circle obviously x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals 0 that's the general form of the equation of a circle. Now let's suppose we have an external point p like this whose coordinates are x sub 1 comma y sub 1. Now if we try to draw tangent lines to this circle how many tangents can we draw from this point? Well actually we can draw two tangent lines one would be to the left hand side and the other one would be to the right hand side. So let's first draw the one to the left hand side it's going to look like this and in this case let's suppose the point of contact is A. Now let's draw the other tangent which should be on the right hand side of this circle and that tangent could look like this where the point of contact is the point B. Next I am going to do one little construction here. I am going to join the center and the point A with a straight line. So the line segment CA would be equivalent to the radius of this circle. I mean the length of CA will be equal to the radius of this circle. And from the general form of the equation of a circle we know that radius is equal to square root of g squared plus f squared minus c. Because we have been provided with the equation of the circle, we can easily calculate the value of r. Everything is known here. g is known, f is known, c is also known. So the value of r will be known if we are provided with the equation of the circle. And in this case, like I mentioned, the equation of the circle would be provided. That means we know the value of g, f and c. That means we can easily calculate the value of r. So r is a known quantity here. And also I have mentioned that the coordinates of the point P would be provided. That means x sub 1 and y sub 1, they are also known quantities. Now somehow we have to find out the equations of the tangent lines. Now we have two tangent lines with two different slopes because they intersect each other at an angle. So if we can somehow calculate the slope of these two tangent lines, then we should be able to come up with the equation of the lines because we already know a point which is a common point on both the tangent lines and that point is the point P and the coordinates are already given. So let's try to see how we can calculate the slope of these two tangent lines. Let's suppose the common equation of the tangent lines is like this y minus y sub 1 is equal to m times x minus x sub 1. I am using the point slope form of the equation of a straight line because we already know the coordinates of a point which is given x sub 1 and y sub 1 that's given and we are using one unknown here which is the slope and if we can somehow calculate the value of m then we should be able to come up with the equation of the tangent lines. Now let's see how we can calculate the value of m. In fact we have to calculate two values of m. That means we are actually looking at some sort of a quadratic equation through which we can calculate two possible values of m. I mean a quadratic equation in m from where we can calculate two possible values of m. Now let's take a look at the equation in EOLO. So the right hand side can be written as mx minus m times x sub 1. And then if we rearrange the terms little bit the equation can be written like this. Here I wanted to write it in the form of ax plus by plus c equals 0. So in this case the coefficient of x is actually positive m. Coefficient of y is negative 1 and the constant term is equal to negative mx sub 1 plus y sub 1. And because we know the equation of the circle we know the value of g and f that means we know the coordinates of the center of the circle. So from the center to the first tangent line there PA what would be the distance of that line from the center? Well that distance would represent the radius of this circle but if we use the formula for the distance of a straight line from a given point then we can calculate the distance like this. We can say that CA will be equal to coefficient of x times the x coordinate of the point then coefficient of y times the y coordinate of the point and then the constant term absolute value of this expression over square root of the square of the coefficient of x plus the square of the coefficient of y. In this case the coefficient of x is m and the coefficient of y is negative 1 as you can see in the yellow equation. So using that equation of the straight line meaning the equation of the tangent line we can say that the distance from center to the tangent line would be exactly like this. And this actually represents the radius of this circle. So we can say this is equal to r and from here if we multiply both sides of this equation by square root of m squared plus 1 then our equation going to look like this. 
and if we simplify the left hand side a little bit it's going to look like this next we have to somehow get rid of the absolute value sign and also we have to get that m square outside of the square root that means we have to take a square on both sides so i'm going to square both sides so that we get the m square out of the square root and also we get rid of the absolute value sign and if we square the both sides it's going to look like this the absolute value sign will disappear and we can say the left hand side quantity squared is equal to the right hand side quantity squared and the right hand side simplifies to r squared times m squared plus 1. Next I am going to expand the left hand side square. So the left hand side would look like this the square of the first term plus 2 times the first term and the second term plus the square of the second term that is the formula for a plus b whole square so if we have two terms here and their whole square would be a square plus 2ab plus b square and then on the right hand side I simply wrote what we had I just removed the parenthesis so I wrote it as r square times m square plus r square now if we bring all the terms to the left hand side then our equation going to look like this also while bringing all the terms to the left hand side I have reorganized slightly because ultimately I am trying to create a quadratic equation in m so I am trying to combine the m squared terms together and then the m terms together and then keep the rest of the constant terms together so if we rewrite our equation it's going to look like this now you can clearly see that this is a quadratic equation in m so we have an m squared term and then we have an m term and then we have some constant terms and from here what would be the value of m well m will have two possible values and if we use the quadratic formula the two possible values would look like this and this formula actually gives us two possible values of m because of that plus and minus sign there and let's assume that the two possible values are m sub 1 and m sub 2 now using these two values how can we write the equations of the tangent lines then one of them can be written as y minus y sub 1 is equal to m sub 1 times x minus x sub 1 so for the first tangent line I am using m sub 1 as the slope and for the second tangent line we can write it like this y minus y sub 1 is equal to m sub 2 times x minus x sub 1 so this is the equation of the second tangent line so the main technique here is to somehow calculate the slopes of the two possible tangent lines and then use the point slope form of equation of straight line to come up with the equations. Next I am going to take an example. Let's suppose we have an example like this. It says find the equations of tangents drawn from P whose coordinates are 2 comma 3 onto the circle x squared plus y squared plus 6x plus 4y plus 8 equals 0. So let's get started with the solution. Here if we compare the given equation of the circle with the general form of the equation of circle which I have written in the yellow color here then we can say 2gx is equal to 6x and from here we can say g is equal to 3 and also negative g would be equal to negative 3 so the x coordinate of the center is actually negative 3. Similarly let's try to find out the value of f. 2fy would be equal to 4y and from here we can say f will be equal to 2 and negative f will be equal to negative 2. So the y coordinate of the center is negative 2. Next let's calculate the value of r the radius of this circle. We know the formula of r is like this it's equal to square root of g squared plus f squared minus c and if we plug in the values then it would be square root of 3 squared plus 2 squared minus 8 because the constant term here is 8 in the given equation of the circle and if we simplify this we can write it like this square root of 9 plus 4 minus 8 and that will be equal to square root of 5 so the radius of this circle is actually square root of 5 unit and the coordinates of the given point are 2 comma 3 so in this case x sub 1 is equal to 2 and y sub 1 is equal to 3 I have made a small note there in yellow color next let's try to derive the equation of the tangent line so we are going to begin with the point slope form of equation of a straight line and that can be written like this y minus y sub 1 is equal to m times x minus x sub 1 and if we plug in the values of y sub 1 and x sub 1 then this equation can be written like this y minus 3 is equal to m times x minus 2 because y sub 1 is equal to 3 that's the y coordinate of the given point and x sub 1 is equal to 2 that's the x coordinate of the given point from here we can write the right hand side as mx minus 2m and from here if we bring all the terms together then we can write the equation like this it would be mx minus y minus 2m plus 3 is equal to 0 and this is the general form of the equation of the tangent lines 
Now we are going to try and find out the distance of this line from the center. The distance of this line from the center would be like this. It would be the coefficient of the x term times the x coordinate of the center and then coefficient of the y term times the y coordinate of the center and then the constant terms and absolute value of that over square root of the square of the coefficient of x term and plus the square of the coefficient of the y term. And this distance actually represents the radius of this circle and we have already calculated the radius. So this can be written like this equal to square root of 5 that's the radius that we have calculated and from here if we multiply both sides by a square root of m square plus 1 then this equation going to look like this. I am simply following the steps that we used in the theory portion. I am following the exact same steps. Next I am going to simplify this a little bit. So our equation could look like this and then to get rid of the square root on the right hand side and to get rid of the absolute value sign on the left hand side I am going to take a square on both sides. So our equation could look like this and then in the next step I am going to just get rid of the absolute value sign. So then our equation is going to look like this. On the right hand side I have also combined the two square root terms. So I have noted it as square root of 5 times m square plus 1. And if we expand it our equation going to look like this. The left hand side will be 25 m square minus 50 m plus 25 and the right hand side will be 5 times m square plus 1. And that can be written as 5 m square plus 5. And next I am going to bring all the terms to the left hand side then our equation will look like this. And if we simplify this a little bit the equation will look like this 20 times m squared minus 50 times m plus 20 equals 0. And we have a nice common factor here we can use 10 as a common factor. So if we divide both sides of this equation by 10 then our equation will look like this. And if we factorize the left hand side then we can write it like this. Expanding the middle term we can say the equation will be 2m squared minus 4m minus m plus 2 equals 0. And from there we can take 2m as a common factor from the first two terms. So that would be 2m times m minus 2. And then from the last two terms we can take a negative 1 as the common factor. So that would be negative 1 times m minus 2. And now we have m minus 2 as the common factor. So if we take that out we are going to be left with 2m minus 1. So m minus 2 times 2m minus 1. One, those are the two factors on the left hand side and right hand side of course is equal to 0. And from here we can say that m minus 2 is equal to 0 or 2m minus 1 is equal to 0. And from there we can say then definitely m is equal to 2 or m is equal to 1 half. So we have found the two possible values of m. Now deriving the equations of the tangent lines it's very easy. The general equation is like this y minus y sub 1 is equal to m times x minus x sub 1. In this case we know the values of y sub 1, x sub 1 and also we know two possible values of m. So from here we are going to derive two equations of the two tangent lines. For the first one we can say y minus 3 that is the y sub 1 y sub 1 is equal to 3 and x sub 1 is equal to 2. That's the coordinates of the given point. And I'm using the first value of m here. So y minus 3 is equal to 2 times x minus 2. And if we simplify this, the right hand side can be written as 2x minus 4. And if we combine all the terms together, it can be written as 2x minus y minus 1 is equal to 0. So that is the equation of the first tangent line. And similarly, let's derive the equation of the second tangent line using m as one half. The equation of the second tangent line can be written like this. y minus 3, 3 is the value of y sub 1, is equal to one half, which is the other value of m, times x minus 2. In this case, 2 is the value of x sub 1. And if we multiply both sides of this equation by a 2, then the equation would look like this. 2y minus 6 is equal to x minus 2. And now if we combine all the terms together on one side, then our equation equation would look like this x minus 2y plus 4 equals 0. And that is the second equation. I mean that is the equation of the second tangent line. I hope everything made sense. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.